Let's look further at the string class. And we're going to look specifically at the method called charette. But before we do that, I want to talk about strings in general. Strings in general can be divided into their individual characters. And so here's a visualization of that. So we have Adam Eve Smith. It's kind of like a row of cabinets all next to one another, and each cabinet holds a character value. And if I want to pull out individual items from a cabinet, I would have to reference it by something called its index. And the index is going to start at zero and go to however many values you have inside of your string. So if I wanted the A, I would have to look at index zero. If I wanted the E, I would have to look at index five. If I wanted the capital S, I'd have to look at index nine. And to help us with the actual program, I've added comments and started with zero to nine. And so if you look above each one of the values, you can see what index each character is sitting at. Now it does go further, but I can't use 10 or higher because that would take up two slots and the numbers wouldn't match up. Notice, and this is a very important point, the index starts at zero. It does not start at one. And this is going to be important because if I wanted to pull out the first value in a string and I use the number one, I would get D instead of capital A in this particular string. But if I really wanted the A, I would have to use zero instead of one, and that would give me the capital A. Lastly, I want to point out that even though there are spaces in the string Adam Eve Smith, those still count as characters. So what is at index four and eight? They are both spaces. And if you tried to print out those individually, you would get a space. So now let's look at the method charat. And so charat is going to be called on the object str. That's what I've labeled my string object. And we're going to be looking for, hey, what is at index zero? And we should get the capital A. Notice that when we run this, let one is going to be a character, not a string. So charat changes the value from a string up here into a character. And then we're going to print it out. So if this code were to run right now, we would get a capital A as we would expect. Let's say that I wanted to get Adam Eve Smith's initials. The code would look something like this. And so char at zero would be a capital A, char at five would be a capital E, and char at nine would be a capital S. So if I wanted to print it out, I could do a statement like this, let one plus let two plus let three. But the result is going to be interesting. It's going to give me 217, not AES. And you say, well, that's crazy. Why is it giving me a number as opposed to giving me the character values? Well, it's because it's adding instead of concatenating. And that's why I pointed out, hey, this is not returning a string. It's returning a character. And if characters are left alone with a plus sign, it is going to add. And what is it adding? It's adding its ASCII value. You can see that A is 65, E is 69, and S is 83. And if you were to add those three values together, you would get 217. So how do we work around this? Well, watch what happens when I run this line of code. I get 217, and then I get AES. And the difference is, is there's a string before this addition, and there's not a string before this right here. What you should know is that if you're adding characters together, it's going to give you a number. But if you have a string, like we do here, followed by characters, it's going to give us the character values A, E, and S. So then we could print a line like this that says your initials are, there's a string starting, so you could probably guess what it's going to print out. Your initials are A, E, S. Let's break down this method so that we can see all of its different parts. The name is charat. The data type in, well, what are we passing to it? We're passing to it the index value, so it's going to be an int. You couldn't say 0 0.7, so it couldn't be a double. It's always going to be an int. It returns a character, and that's important because when you add characters together, you might get a number versus getting the actual value. So you have to remember how to handle characters correctly versus how to handle strings correctly. 
The sequence, well, there's only one value being passed, so there isn't a sequence. And the quantity, you have to pass one value to char at. And lastly, and maybe most importantly, what is the function of char at? It returns a value from a specified index. So we're going to say, hey, what is at this index, this index, and this index? And then we're going to store it inside of here. Next, let's talk a little bit more about individual indexes. And so you can see we have 0 through 9. What would happen if I went all the way to 12? Well, that would give me the t, and it's still in range. But what would happen if I put in a value that's not in range, like 30? We can definitely see that there is no index associated with Adam Eve Smith that would reach 30. Well, it would give us an error. And not any error, it would give us a specific error saying index out of bounds exception. And the reason why we get that is because this is the index, and you can see that obviously 30 is out of bounds. And we can also do it the other way, which is to say, what if I tried to find a negative 1 index or something before the beginning of the string? Well, of course that wouldn't exist. We'd get an error, and the error that we'd get is index out of bounds. So hopefully you can see what would happen if you try to take a value out of a string that does not exist. In order to understand the charat method, you need to understand that strings hold groupings of characters. And each one of those characters has an index associated with it that's always going to start at zero. If you want to pull one of those characters out and utilize it, you're going to use the charat method. And remember, it's going to return a character, not a string. So you have to follow the rules of characters when using the value that is returned. And lastly, if you try to use an index that is not within that string, you're going to get an error, and the error is going to be index out of bounds. The charat method is an important tool within the string class. It allows you to look at a specific character, and as long as you handle it correctly, it will be a valuable tool. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Truly, thanks again for watching.